Welcome back to Movies Outpost. Today, I will introduce you to an action-packed, adventure and sci-fi thriller film from 2007, titled, I Am Legend. And as always, spoilers ahead, so watch out and take care. The movie begins with a TV interview of Dr. Crippen, discussing her groundbreaking discovery of a genetically modified measles virus that can attack cancer cells. She explains that the patients who have undergone the treatment with this new cure have all recovered so far. The film then jumps ahead three years, where we see that New York City has become an empty, desolate place devoid of human life. Grass covers roads and buildings, abandoned cars line the highways, and the city is silent. It seems as though the apocalypse has arrived. Robert Neville is driving through the deserted town accompanied by his dog, Sam. A herd of deer jumps across his path, almost causing him to crash. He gives chase at high speed, trying to hunt them. As he rounds a corner, he gets the deer in his sights, but is beaten to the kill by a lion that presumably escaped from the NYC zoo. Robert is torn as to whether to shoot the lion and its family, who also enter the scene, or leave the deer to them. At this point, Robert's watch alarm starts beeping, signaling that the sun is setting, and he has to go. We see Robert's home. It's a typical American detached house, but it looks like it's in the middle of a war zone. He bleaches the steps to hide their smell. Robert and Sam are having a seemingly ordinary evening, eating processed food and watching recorded TV programs. After a bath, Robert shuts, locks, and protects every door and window with massive steel shutters. He sleeps with Sam in a bathtub, rifle in hand, with screams and screeches surrounding the house. He dreams of how his wife, Zoe, their child, Marley, and Sam as a puppy, try to leave New York. We see Robert dressed in a military uniform, he decided to stay in New York on his own to try to stop the virus as he is an army doctor. They tell Marley they are going on holiday. She sees her parents are in distress and tries to calm them down by showing a butterfly with her hands. The dream scene is interrupted by Robert waking to face his lonely reality once again. Robert exercises then goes down to the basement of his fortress-like home, where he keeps a small but high-tech laboratory. We see that he has been experimenting with a vaccine for the virus that has wiped out most of the human race. He's tried the vaccine, evidently only one of the hundreds, on some mice to find a viable cure. All the mice act incredibly aggressive, except for one. Robert makes a note of this mouse and deems that specific compound ready for human trials. Later, Robert gears up and goes to a video rental store where he talks to some mannequins he has set up, his only form of human contact. It seems he has created a game for himself to prevent madness from consuming him. There Robert takes notice of a woman mannequin he would like to get to know better. While in the field, picking up corn, he promises Sam he will talk with her tomorrow. Robert later visits some condo flats nearby, searching for supplies. He comes upon a room with a bed surrounded by plastic wrap and another room with two cribs. We see the pain in his eyes as he empathizes with the loss of loved ones. Robert has created a radio message and plays it over all AM radio frequencies. It says that he's alive and that he'll be waiting for any survivors at the docks of the bay at midday every day. While playing golf on a military airplane, Sam spots a deer, so both of them go after it. The deer runs into an old building at ground level, and Sam follows even though Robert tries to hold him back. Robert enters the building as Sam would not come out. Robert cautiously makes his way through the dimly lit rooms. He walks quietly, aware that there may be dangerous creatures called Dark Seekers present in the building. The Dark Seekers are sensitive to light and noise, so Robert takes care to cover his flashlight to avoid waking them. Robert is eager to leave the building, but finds it hard to do without his only surviving companion, Sam. He comes across the body of a deer and is relieved to see it is not Sam. He continues on his search. He accidentally enters a room filled with sleeping dark seekers and treads cautiously trying to leave without waking them. Robert spots Sam hiding under a desk. Sam gestures to Robert as if indicating someone or something is present. Suddenly, a infected male jumps out of the darkness to attack Robert, but he shoots it dead. Robert and Sam start running out of the building. More infected follow them as they flee. Some of them grab onto Robert as they escape out of a window, but they die as soon as they are exposed to sunlight. Afterwards, Robert sets a trap by breaking a vial of blood to catch one of the infected. The trap is successful, the leader of the Dark Seekers runs out of the building, but retreats back into the darkness when sunlight burns its skin. Robert brings the captured female Dark Seeker back to his lab for experimentation. He uses a serum that was successful in making the mice less aggressive. Initially, the woman shows positive results, but soon after, she flatlines. Robert revives her with an adrenaline shot and continues to refine his serums in hopes of finding a cure. That night, 
Robert dreams of the past when his wife and child tried to leave New York in the midst of the evacuation chaos. He relives the panic and terror on the streets as the city's citizens try to escape before the infected take over. In the dream, he seats his family on a plane and, at his daughter's request, brings Sam along. Just as they are about to take off, he wakes up. Before heading out, Robert sets his clock to 30 minutes before sunset. He listens to old news reports about patients cured by Dr. Crippen's vaccine, which were exhibiting symptoms resembling early onset rabies. After visiting the seaport at midday, he fishes and talks to Sam about a possible party for his birthday. While driving around, Robert finds that his mannequin, Fred, has been moved. He becomes agitated and shoots Fred. That night, the infected set the same trap for him that he had set for them the previous day. Robert is caught in the trap and hits his head, passing out. When he wakes up, his watch is beeping, and it's dark. Sam is faithfully waiting for him. Finally, he cuts himself free just as dark falls, but he falls on his knife and it hits his leg. The infected leader then appears with infected dogs. They attack him right as the last slimmer of light disappears. Sam defends him, fighting off one of the dogs, shooting the infected dogs dead. He looks over to see Sam collapse from a bite wound and picks him up, and lays him in the car. When he gets home, he puts Sam on a table and injects him with an experimental vaccine. The vaccine fails in helping Sam as Robert realizes his hair begins to fall out, and he attempts to bite Robert, so he is forced to kill him by strangling him as he struggles in his arms. Tears stream down his cheeks as he says goodbye to his only friend. He then goes and buries him in the streets. As promised to Sam, he visits the woman mannequin at the video rental store and tells her hello. He begs the mannequin to answer him. The darkness is suffocating Robert. In a grief-stricken rage, he decides to fight all the infected face to face. He sets up a dummy at the pier and the infected run at him. He drives his SUV at high speed into the hordes of infected who roam the streets at night. He nearly runs off the end of the pier and crashes. The infected overturned his SUV. Just as he is about to die to the leader of dark seekers, a bright light shines on him, scaring them off. The woman tries to get information about Robert's house whereabouts, he tells her the address and to only go there after dawn, so they can't track where he lives. Robert blacks out, while blacked out, he has dreams about the past once more. This time he dreams of the helicopter his wife and child used to escape New York. As it takes off, a nearby helicopter is attacked by an infected and crashes into the helicopter carrying his family. He wakes up in his house to Shrek playing on the TV and stitches on his knife wound. He grabs a gun and goes to the kitchen, hallucinating for a moment that it's his family. Robert hasn't had human contact in so long that he is confused. The people who rescued him are Anna and her son Ethan, who have heard Robert's radio message and went to find him the previous day. Anna makes them breakfast, powdered eggs, and bacon. Anna explains a plan to leave New York and go to a colony of immune survivors in Vermont. Robert, however, insists that everybody is dead and doesn't believe that such a place exists, which scares Anna and Ethan. Robert then explains he was saving that bacon. That's why he acted out. After calming down, he apologizes to Anna but still refuses to leave. He then shows Anna his laboratory and injects another serum into the infected woman. While closing down the house, Anna again pleads to Robert to come with them. He asks her how she knows that there is a safe zone in Vermont. She answers with faith. Robert becomes irritated. He tells her facts about the infection, like 90% of the people died from the KV virus, less than 1% are immune, and the other 588 million people turned into dark seekers. Robert realizes that the infected are attacking his house. The previous night they had followed Anna back when she rescued Robert. He quickly activates his defenses, using lights and exploding cars to keep them at bay. Despite his efforts, the infected break through the shutters and enter the house. One of the infected starts breaking through the roof to allow more to enter. Robert shoots at them and retreats to the basement lab with Anna and Ethan. They discover that the infected female he had captured and tested a virus vaccine on his return to her human self. Robert closes a bulletproof glass door to prevent the infected from entering the lab. The leader of the infected starts ramming into the glass, causing cracks in a butterfly shape. He has made a personal quest out of hunting Robert down for kidnapping his infected wife. Robert reflects on his daughter and wonders if this is God's plan. He gives Anna a syringe containing a sample of the cured woman's blood and tells her to hide in the incinerator with Ethan until dawn. Robert grabs a grenade and as the leader of the infected breaks through the glass, they collide, killing all the infected in the room. Anna and Ethan reach a castle-like wall and a steel door. An enclosed community of human survivors in the countryside was found. Anna gives the syringe containing the antidote to the leader of the community, and her voiceover explains how Robert Neville has become a legend. The end. Thank you for watching. 
Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.